Photographs have surfaced of Leonardo DiCaprio filming his next part for filmmaker Paul Thomas Anderson, which is presently called BC Project. In an untidy ensemble of pants and a soiled bathrobe, big sunglasses and a grey beanie, DiCaprio, 49, appears unrecognisable. The actor, who was recently rejected for an Oscar for Killers of the Flower Moon, was spotted with Anderson on Tuesday on the set in the town of Eureka, California, in Northern California. With a dejected expression on his face, DiCaprio's character uses a payphone to make a call, suggesting that he has fallen on hard times. As DiCaprio sat outside a grocery shop, cameras focused on him as he theatrically reached across the cement with his hand. After a while, he stood up again and crossed the pavement determinedly. A single black backpack was placed over DiCaprio's shoulder. He had a pink bag attached to his possessions as well. When the cameras weren't rolling, DiCaprio was also spotted chatting with Anderson behind the scenes. The two sat down together and looked over Anderson's iPad, as if he had some notes for DiCaprio. Although the story of the movie is currently unknown, Deadline has revealed that Regina Hall and Sean Penn are featured in it. Anderson wrote the script for the film, which takes place in the modern era. In addition, Anderson, Adam Somner, and Sarah Murphy are producing the film. Deadline revealed that there will be a sizable ensemble cast in the movie, in addition to the three leads. Variety claims that the movie's budget is almost $100 million. Several highly regarded movies, such as Punch Drunk Love, Licorice Pizza, and Boogie Nights, were directed by Anderson. Following Leonardo's rejection for an Oscar for his performance in Killers of the Flower Moon, a new movie has been released. Numerous nominations were received for the movie, including Best Picture, Best Director, Martin Scorsese, Best Actress, Lily Gladstone, and Best Supporting Actor, Robert De Niro. Lily defended her co-star to Variety, telling the publication that the exclusion infuriated both her and her parents. They were furious, she remarked. He was the first to congratulate me by SMS, complete with popping confetti. I conveyed to him our collective upset. Eight more Oscar nominations were given to the three-and-a-half-hour film, but the Titanic star was not included. I nominate him in equal measure. Without his kindness as an actor and a person, I could not have accomplished what I achieved, Lily continued. Leo plays World War I veteran Ernest Burkhart in the movie, who develops feelings for Lily's Molly Kyle, an Osage lady. Scorsese intervened, saying that Leo's portrayal is self-evident. According to the legendary filmmaker, he went so far into the complexities and contradictions of a man who was so weak, so malleable, who did such unspeakable things, but who also truly loved his wife. Leo boldly crafted a genuine everyman, an everyman that society refuses to recognize. Thus, that will persist. Leonardo acknowledged the Oscar nominations on Instagram, but he hasn't publicly commented about the rejection yet. Congratulations to my good buddy at Lily Gladstone for creating Oscar history as the fourth Indigenous actress to ever receive a nod in the category and the first Native American woman to be nominated for Best Actress in Killers of the Flower Moon, he said. It has been an honour to convey this tale with each of the nine other nominees for this moving movie.